fair housing will always cost more, but, but if, if we don't focus on doing it efficiently and, and making the right decisions, it, it could be extraordinarily expensive. A net zero energy house is a house that over the course of a year produces all of its own energy. It's not practical to think about just doing it with solar energy. It would take a number of houses, four or five, to collect enough energy to heat one ordinary house. So you have to reduce the amount of energy that that house uses, and you have to reduce it every which way. I particularly want to draw your attention to the to the uh, passive solar gain versus the photovoltaic production. You can see that in both Mill Creek and Belgravia, we're actually getting more usable energy through our south-facing windows than we are with our, our forty to fifty thousand dollar photovoltaic system. So it's important to do it at the lowest possible cost, and the most economical uh, way to harvest solar energy is through south-facing windows and uh, in order to do that you need to have a site where that makes sense. When we got to the third house it, it started to feel somewhat familiar and, and th that's when a light came on and I realized that uh, there was a series of steps that we, we should follow. It's made it so that it's not much more work to design a net zero energy house than it is to design an ordinary house. There are a few other considerations but fundamentally it's, it's not that complicated.